Are you single? I thought a girl drugged me. <laughs> African women are beautiful. Rob me. Be sexual. Oh, awesome. They could be sexual. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Sexual too. We, let's keep it 100. Oh, what is passport bros? <laughs> passport bros? Yeah. But I know Ken. I, I know Uganda and Kenya got a lot of stuff going on, like with the uh, LGBTQ community. Yeah. Like I saw one thing was guy was like. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, people get arrested for that. Now. Yeah, in, in Uganda, it's like Jamaica. Yeah, yeah. it's like Jamaica. Jamaica is not where you can get beat up. You know? And then previously with Kim Tobea. Detoxing. Yes, can I be so? Like you have to test them together. I know. Um, I'm gonna go to Ethiopia, go to Ghana, Cote d'Ivoire, Senegal, and maybe Angola. If not Angola, Mozambique. Right now, it looks like it might be more Mozambique mm -hmm. because I can hit Mozambique and go up to Tanzania and do the, you know. One of the misconceptions of Africa is that a lot of people think that uh, these African countries are are everybody's poor, everybody's broke, dirt mm -hmm. roads, lions in the streets, giraffes. Mm -hmm next to your house that family don't have money and you see flies flying around their face say watch checking effect videos and come to kenya <laughs> beautiful country good bad and the ugly huh? they can find me right here in kenya <laughs> come to kenya you'll find me in nairobi right here be sure to be caught up on all the vlogs and uh this particular vlog will be on the link of the description down below and let now let's jump on today's vlog and see what's up. Let's see what check in effect got for us. In the sauce jam, Alibaba sauce pan, knocking out the boss man. Zoo's looking. I can subscribe. Every time a nigga link up, she always ready to cash out. Yeah, don't fuck with no gold digger. <laughs> Yeah, okay. Alright, repeat the question. So, why do people like, uh, why do the audience like? Yeah, just make sure nobody snatch your okay? <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to get, hey, why the audience, <laughs> hey, really? <laughs> <laughs> uh, why, why does the audience yeah. like dating? Like, why do the audience like uh, dating video? Like, when they see. When they um, see a girl and a, a girl da dating in yeah. another country, yeah, can I say like? I don't think it's that they like Austin content. Like, yeah, you, it's your channel. Like, you can say what you want. Yeah, like I see like oh, I don't know how to say his name. Austin. Yeah, Austin. Just yeah. say Austin. You don't have Austin. to say the full name. Yeah, Austin channel. Like people like when she's when he's dating like several different girls, mm -hmm. it gets. <laughs> It, it gets so much engagement, so why? <laughs> uh, there's several reasons why. <laughs> um, one, one guy, some it's all right. Some guys wanna they they travel for love. Some mm -hmm. some travel for love. Some travel. Uh, they want to see how a country is mm -hmm. before they move there, mm -hmm. and they want to know the how the women are. Mm -hmm. So when they watch him mm -hmm. with another girl dating, they see mm -hmm. how. The interaction is they see how the the women talk the lifestyle mm -hmm. how the women are and they feel like oh wow if i go there i can meet a woman like that too oh, okay. so wow i want to come to nairobi i can meet a woman like that in nairobi look how nice she is and she's beautiful mm -hmm. oh wow look how she's how how uh, she's very submissive mm -hmm. you know and feminine mm -hmm. oh i mean i want to meet that too and then they want to travel and meet a woman like that too it could be for love it could be relationship or it could be it's sexual. Dating. Oh, that's it could be sexual. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie. Sexual too. We, let's keep it 100. Like you mean it's sexual? Just sexual. sexual. <laughs> like, no, there's no end means about it. So when, uh, okay, so passport bros is something that is uh, one of the most phrases that's misused mm -hmm. because any black man who mm -hmm. has a passport who travels can do something stupid now it's passport bro mm -hmm. so this guy let's say a guy goes to mm -hmm. i'm just naming a place goes mm -hmm. to cuba 
and he gets arrested. A black guy gets mm -hmm. arrested. Maybe they say he slapped a woman. I'm just an example. Mm -hmm. Passport Bros gets arrested in Cuba for slapping a woman because mm -hmm. he's black and he traveled. Mm -hmm. So Passport Bros is like, it's just being misused now. Um, Anybody who's black who travels mm -hmm. and does something stupid, they, they label Passport Bros. But mm -hmm. they do it for views. Mm -hmm. So if you put Passport Bros, it's going to get views. Mm -hmm. So now anybody could do something stupid. I could... Like, I could have a friend that doesn't even know what a passport bro is. Mm -hmm. And he travels with me and he, let's say he gets in a fight and something happened and it's in the news. Mm -hmm. Somebody's going to put passport bro gets arrested. Passport mm -hmm. bro gets in trouble. Mm -hmm. And then now all of a sudden, mm -hmm. passport bros is looking bad. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not agreeing with all passport bros. Yeah. But they do get a bad limelight because anything that, that's bad associated with a guy traveling mm -hmm. goes to passport bros. That's black. Mm -hmm. So, my other question is, do you consider yourself a passport bro? Me? Yeah. No, I'm, I don't label myself a passport Everybody knows that. People who watch my channel say, mm -hmm. yo, why y'all talking about checking passport bro? Check mm -hmm. doesn't even claim passport bros. Mm -hmm. I know passport bros, mm -hmm. but it's not even, it has nothing to do with passport bros. I don't label myself in anything. I'm yeah. independent. I work mm -hmm. by myself. I do my own thing. Mm -hmm. I travel state to state by myself, country to country by mm -hmm. myself. Mm -hmm. I don't put myself in labels or, or groups. Mm -hmm. There's not a lot of groups that I'm in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because now they're calling them. They uh, they say like passport I'll, king. Yeah. yeah. Okay, there's a whole oh. bunch passports. They got passport sis. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I know someone who's a passport sister. sister. Yeah. yeah. I don't put myself in any group. It has nothing to do with passport bros. Mm. It's just the fact that you don't like being in a cult. You feel like I don't like more. being in a group and then people try to get infiltrate and find out stuff about you and pretend you're your friend. And next thing you know, they get with the ops or get with somebody's channel and talk shit about you. So, you know, that's what people do. That's why I don't like groups. I mean, mm -hmm. I'll talk to you, say what's up, blah, 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 but I'm not being in any group with, mm -hmm. with groups. I don't do groups. So, are you single? Yeah, I am. You're single? Yeah. How's the dating? Dating what? Dating. <laughs> <laughs> are you dating? <laughs> uh, when I travel, am I dating? Yeah, I do date is when it, I travel. Is but it it's, it's difficult because... You know, women look at your channel and they think like every woman you meet yeah. that you're having sexual encounters with. So and hot. I'm like, yo, I keep my shit professional. Because it's and I don't just like, you know, put everybody I date on camera. So, I wonder how Austin does it. <laughs> you going back to Austin? <laughs> yeah. Because she's, he's dating them all on, on his video. Like how, how is But we don't really know if he's dating them for real though. It could be maybe he has a business plan with them. Hey, I'm doing videos. I want to show guys how women in different countries are. Let me take you out to eat oh. and, and just you know, talk to you while I'm taking I'll you out to eat. Talk to you about yeah. After yeah. you're done taking out to eat, she might go home. Yeah. You know, and he goes home. So we don't know. We can't late say oh. these girls he's doing stuff with. You know what yeah. I mean? So how are the how are the ladies teaching you here in Kenya? Yeah. Nice, very friendly. The women here in Kenya are very, very super friendly. Mm -hmm. like, hey, how you doing? What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> like, are they oh, approachable? Yeah. Well, they, they, they approach you. They don't they're, even approach yeah, In them. Kenya, they'll approach you. Mm -hmm. You don't have to approach them. They'll look at you, give you mm -hmm. an eye. They'll approach you. Mm -hmm. And then sometimes they would approach you before someone else does. Yeah, actually, when we are working together, people, if you don't notice, if I like I didn't saying notice. you're fine. I did not they're notice. Saying, they're saying it in Swahili because they don't know. Ah, uh, that's why they're I didn't like, notice. You're so fine. See, I'm going yeah. to learn some Swahili now. So yeah. I'm going to learn Swahili so I can understand what these women are saying. Like, when we were in Mamanlisha, those, yeah, 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 those yeah. ladies were actually waiting for you. Ah, uh, I didn't know they, that. They were. See, in the States, it's different. In the United States, it's, it's totally different. Yeah. Totally different. You, you were not. Mm -hmm. Like, women... Sometimes, like, I don't know, some women in the States could be rude and some are not. So mm -hmm. that, that's what the issues a lot of guys have, especially passport bros. Mm -hmm. They have issues with women. Some women, like if a woman is not into you or not, don't mm -hmm. find you attractive or don't want to talk to you. Yeah. She don't have to be rude about it. She could just say, hey, I'm, I'm okay. Thank you very much. But mm -hmm. I'm dating or I'm seeing someone. Just be nice about it. They'll be doing shit like... <laughs> what about the free meals? I've heard about the free Like they'll go with you on a date Even if they're not interested Okay, if, even here it happens oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even yeah. here it happens actually Yeah, it happens here But 
Yeah, it does happen here, but it's it does happen in the States too. Women uh, go out on a date just to have that free food, the free mm -hmm. meal. Mm -hmm. um, but it happens other countries too. I do. That is true. But not everywhere. I don't think it happens everywhere. Mm -hmm. So are the women here? How are the women treating you here? Uh, you asked South me Africa. That the difference in South Africa, Brazil. And oh, uh, yeah. damn. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. I think the honestly, I think the women in South Africa, Kenya, and Brazil are pretty much the same when it comes to femininity and submissiveness. Yeah. Like I, when I say submissive, I don't mean a yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> like they do everything you say. That's not what I'm talking about. Actually, it's uh, it's normal. Like no, nah, but no, nah, but a lot of girls, like a lot of women, they take when a guy say, "Oh, I like a woman who's submissive." They think that they're looking for a man, a woman that agrees with everything they say that's what a lot of girls think but so. yeah it's tradition to agree like it's a it's a it's a and oh it's tradition to agree no, yeah it's a, it's a tradition i don't want a woman agreeing with everything i say <laughs> it's a tradition uh, to agree with your with your with your husband not, not your boyfriend husband so if i say if i'm mad and i want to beat somebody i'm about, I'm about to no, beat this dude up no. and she gonna be like baby i agree <laughs> No, <laughs> like maybe on things like household, how to run the household, oh, yes, things yes, like yes. that. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. I. Yeah. They, well, women's supposed to support them. Why man. is it that way? Because we're. In so, guys, I'm taking check. Now I've done how to. Sini wit. Sini wit. Now. <laughs> Karibo. Karibo. I'm Santi. Checking. Santi. I've taken check to giraffe, giraffe center, not giraffe manor, and you pay. I'm gonna show you how much you pay, so that you can sit <laughs> for guided tours. <laughs> Contact me. Oh, now you're doing tours. <laughs> for guided. Oh, Are you showing it? One thousand five hundred shillings Food for the giraffes. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Good for the giraffes. Feed them one piece at a time. One piece at a time, right? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so, they're so big. Oh, you don't want that. You don't like that. You only like the green stuff. Yeah. <laughs> How's the experience? It was fun. Very exciting. I love animals. I love giraffes. Very and fun. I've got to the elephant of next. Where is that one at? It's around here. It's near. We can walk? I don't think so. Let me see on the Uber. But it's in the same like area. If you like this kind of videos, don't forget to like, comment, and and like, comment, and subscribe. Yeah. So, hi. <laughs> we here again. Which way should we go? Is it light? Is perfect? Is good here? The lighting is good here? Should we go over there? Let me see. So it's good. Damn, I don't like it. Oh, I got an idea. We should. Oh, yeah. There we go. So, what's the cost of living? Damn, 11 minutes. Go ahead. The cost of living what? What's the cost of living here in Nairobi? I have a, how much am I paying? I got a really nice apartment and I'm only paying 35 40 I think I'm paying like $40 a day. Uh -huh. And I have a really nice high rise, 10th floor, three securities, yeah. elevator, wow. everything works, AC. Um, and it's near everything, cafe. Yeah, well, yeah, it's in Westland. It looks real nice. It's, it's in an area where you can walk outside with your camera, whatever. And I'm paying like 35 I think it's 40 with everything. Mm -hmm. And it's really nice. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Next question. <laughs> Next question. <laughs>
do you have any language barriers? Uh, yeah. Um, like if you go to certain countries that you can't, like I try to at least adapt myself with the language. Mm -hmm. Like in places like Kenya, you you don't need to speak. Mm -hmm. Um, Swa no, not Swahili. Yeah, Swahili. Mm -hmm. You don't need to speak Swahili in a place like South Africa. You don't have to speak Zulu, Kausa. Most people speak English. Like but yeah. English is a call. It's the first. It's an official language. Yeah, it's the official language. The only people that don't speak the language are the ones who are not educated or mm -hmm. people who are not educated. But, um, yeah, it can be a problem. Like, if somebody's traveling to Brazil, you don't speak Portuguese, mm -hmm. then it could be a problem. Um, yeah, it would be an English barrier problem, especially if you're speaking, going to mm -hmm. a Spanish-speaking country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's an issue. You got to learn. I mean, I don't know what to say. The only thing I can say is <laughs> learn some of the basics. Yeah. Like most people, like in France, mm -hmm. a lot of people in France speak English, but if they see you don't, not trying to, like, learn their language, their language they get they, but it's, in Tanzania also we need to learn Swahili because they get offended mm. when they speak. Yeah, but if you speak that, like if you learn a little bit of words and you speak it, they appreciate it and they'll like, they'll like talk to you. Mm. So. so, oh, I didn't tell, this is not the second video, introduce yourself to the people. Oh, I'm Checking Effect. I have a travel channel, you guys know, if you guys don't follow me, make sure you check me out. Checking Effect, C-Z-E-C-H-I-N-E-F-F-E-C-T on all platforms mm -hmm. and I do a lot of travel videos I've been to probably I've been to like 21 countries mm -hmm. just showing my experience when it comes to infrastructure food culture lifestyle women everything so mm -hmm. make sure y'all check me out mm -hmm. check check out <laughs> <laughs> um, what did you think before coming to Kenya I, I already had like Kenya was one of those places where I already had good uh, reviews. People yeah. told me good compliments about Kenya. So I came in head first knowing that it was going to be nice. Mm -hmm. So like I, cause people told me the vibe is nice and mm -hmm. it is true. I got to see it firsthand. Mm -hmm. Um, so I like it. I like it. I like, um, I like the people. Um, it's friendly, nice people are respectable. Mm -hmm. You know, I was there like things like internet and the food. My place got internet 24-7. Like, and it's fast. I don't, yeah, my internet, I mean, I'm not going to say it's fast, fast, mm -hmm. but the uh, the download speed is fast, upload speed is not. But mm -hmm. I got internet 24-7. I don't have no problems with internet. Mm -hmm. And um, the food is good. The food, mm -hmm. where we went at, that place, they got some bomb-ass food. I'm going to go there again. Yeah. We are going there today. Right? Damn. Yeah. I already what? called the Uber to go somewhere else. We'll add, we'll change. You said you, you can change. All right. All right. I'll change it. All right. Yeah. Um, let me change it. Um, we change it first and then we continue. Wait. All right. Oh, yeah. oh, this was five minutes. Uh, your first impression when landing the JK Jomo Kenyatta. <laughs> My first impression? Yeah. The airport. How the airport look because... <laughs> Uh, oh, the airport is small. Yeah. <laughs> you know that's the biggest airport. That shit is it's small. It's so small. Nah, I don't know what, what's. I don't Nothing. know what's big about that. Pause. <laughs> but uh, nah, the airport is small. To me, it's small. But um, mm -hmm. it's cool. I mean, like you know, typical airport mm -hmm. out of the country. Mm -hmm. um, it was easy. Mm -hmm. Like you know Taxes. the immigration, oh, okay. the immigration part. The immigration part was real easy and smooth. So hey, what do you guys want to take a picture for us? All right. Oh, no okay. Worries, Thank you. <laughs> You're better at pictures. Go ahead. She's really good at pictures. <laughs> easy. There's <laughs> money. Imagine if you could. Uh, Drive and start this imagine video. Imagine if you could own this place for one month. I'll be rich. Ooh. Fifteen, fifteen, fifteen. You got to buy the food though. Hmm? Still gotta buy the food. Food for the for the animal. Yeah. Okay. So guys, we are eating for the Uber. We are eating for the Uber, and we are going to <laughs> going to Mama Nilisha. Huh? Sikuna <laughs> Mandinga. Say it again. What? Say it again. Sikuna <laughs> Mandinga. Guys, I thought I thought check in um, Swahili. Do you know what that means? Of course, I said it. You tell them what it means. It means, <laughs> do you guys have cars? <laughs> <laughs> Say another word. I thought. Uh, 
Bye-bye, no, Akuna Matada. Yeah. <laughs> our, uh, our Uber's here. <laughs> hey, Uber driver. Yes. Are you calling me? Yeah, yeah. I was calling you. I'm right here. This is exclusive interview. <laughs> exclusive. <laughs> Today is so hot. <laughs> How's the weather here? Oh, How's the weather? It's really nice out here. Is it cold? <laughs> For you guys, it's cold. You got on a jacket. How can it cold? <laughs> but it feels good. Today and yesterday has been the warmest mm -hmm. out of the days I've been here. Mm -hmm. It's nice. You now when it reaches 5, it, the, the temperature changes. Say what? When it reaches like 5 in the evening. The temperature changes. Yeah. It gets colder. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. But it's lovely though. <laughs> <laughs> what did I ask you if you're single? Yeah. On that other video? Yeah, do you guys want the dating? Would you date a Kenyan woman? Why wouldn't I? <laughs> what kind of question is that? Like, well, what am I supposed to say? They no. would want to know. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, I would date. Yeah, I would date a Kenyan woman. Of course. A beautiful black African queen. Queen. From Kenya. <laughs> from, uh, uh, from Mombasa. You are from Mombasa. <laughs> The Mombasa that will come what I could talk horror. Yeah. Mombasa that I could talk horror. Yeah. Guys, tell yeah. tell him in the comments what did I say? Mombasa. You will not return from Mombasa. If you go to Mombasa, you're not going. Seriously. You're not going I'm anywhere. Only going, I'm only going for four days. Do you I need to extend go. my stay? I'm I'm telling you you won't come back. <laughs> you oh won't come God. back. Huh? The, oh the island girls. What are Kuzungushia? So what are Kuzungushia? Seven. Yeah. What I come to? Zungushia. Zungushia. What do you mean? <laughs> I mean, girls got the bomb. <laughs> the, the wine for you. No, dirty wine. Yeah. Dirty wine. Uh -huh. I can't wait to go. <laughs> <laughs> What's the culture shock you've experienced in Kenya? Mm. That you never saw it coming. Not really a culture shock. Mm -hmm. This is not really a culture shock. But people are very approachable, and they'll approach you also mm -hmm. and introduce themselves. Mm -hmm. It's not really a culture shock. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, the things I saw, the things I read about the Messiah, but that's not all Kenyan people. That's just the Messiahs. Mm -hmm. You know, with the with the what? circumcision, the women getting circumcised. Yeah, like that's most a culture tribes. shock. That's, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's a big culture mm -hmm. shock. Women getting circumcised. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> A, a, a lot of tribes do, do that actually. Yeah, and then the women when they get circumcised, they don't. The only them. tribe that doesn't circumcise is the Luo tribe. I'm talking about the women, not the men. Yeah, yeah the women also, I'm telling you. Okay. The Luos, they don't circumcise. Which tribe? The Luos. It's the only one? Yeah. So all of them do it? Yeah, before. Now it's less practiced. Yeah. Mm. Mm -hmm. I didn't know that. <laughs> How's the mall? Like, have you vis visited the mall? Any mall? Mount Kenyan? No, like a mall, shopping mall. Oh, no. Nah, I went. That's not your thing? No. Nah, um, no, I do go to malls. Mm -hmm. But, like, in South Africa, I visit like three malls. But mm -hmm. here, yeah, actually, I went to a mall with you. Yeah, but that's not the best mall. There's another it's mall, a mall called. It's a mall. Yeah, it's a mall. Yeah, it's another mall called what? Uh, Village Market. Village Market. Yeah, okay. and Westgate and two rivers, those are the best. Yeah, that's the only mall I've been to was the one with you. Mm -hmm. I haven't been to a mall yet. Normally when I go to a mall, it's either to eat, eat or buy something. Like, okay. I don't just go for no reason. I have to take you to this mall. Like, they have really nice restaurants. We like salads. Yeah. They have really good, the best salad. The best salad? Yeah, the best. What's which mall? It's called Village Market. Oh, Village Market. Yeah. And the restaurant, should I, tell, oh, should I give free promo to the restaurant? <laughs> it's called The Harvest. Yeah, I would. Well, yeah, give them that promo. Go the ahead. Harvest. They have the best salad, Caesar salad. 
Is it called Caesar salad? Is it called Caesar I like my Caesar salad with anchovies. Or is it Most people don't serve it with anchovies. I have a picture of, of the salad actually on my phone. Let me see it. Let me see it. Is it Caesar or C A E S A R? Caesar. Caesar. Rome. Hmm? Rome. Caesar. Rome. Italy. Okay. Italian. Here's the salad. Yeah. It's good. Damn, that does look good. Yeah. I never seen that. Damn, that does look good. <laughs> How's the standard of living here? The salad? Standard. Standard of living here. Standard. Uh, <laughs> My accent is making you... <laughs> it's, it's making you a day. Nah, I thought you said... Because we, we was talking about salad and then standard. Standard. I thought you were still on the salad subject. But uh, uh, it, it's... Um, it's like I said last time when we were talking. It's 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 modern. It's not what people think. It's not like dirt mm -hmm. roads and all that. You know, mm -hmm. it's very modern. It's mm -hmm. it's up to standard. You know, mm -hmm. it's nice, modern. Mm -hmm. I, you know, I, I would give it like a, a B. Would you live here? I would live here. Yeah, mm -hmm. I can live here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or even if I didn't live here and I did like a mm -hmm. like. Let's say just to experience everything, live in the country mm -hmm. for one year. I could see myself. You can see yourself yeah, living here. Living in, in Kenya for one year. Mm -hmm. Doing content in Kenya. I mean, I would still travel around mm -hmm. Kenya, like Rwanda, Uganda, yeah. Tanzania. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it like you guys now, because we say Tanzania. <laughs> yes. So now I say Tanzania. <laughs> <laughs> Tanzania, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you have to teach me some slang. <laughs> Um, so fresh. <laughs> a, a slang, a American slang is uh, okay. What's in it right now? What's, What's in right now? Cap. Yeah. Everybody know cap. No cap. No cap. <laughs> what does that mean? It means you're fake or you're lying. Oh, okay. Like somebody say something. He like, man, I call cap when I see it. Oh, okay. Like I see, I know it's not real when I see it. Mm, okay. Or you capping like that's fake. Another mm. one is this is a Florida one, a lick. Mm-hmm. A lick. Oh, like, a lick. Uh -huh. What does that mean? You know what it means? It's like, I don't know. I, I really don't know. It Can means, I guess? Uh, yeah, go ahead and guess. <laughs> it's like, mm, you're distinct, like you're distinct. Nah, nah, a lick is like, uh, you see something nice that you want to get. Mm -hmm. Like, I got a sweet lick coming mm -hmm. up next week, meaning that I got something coming up next week that's, that I'm going to get some money. Oh, okay. It's a nice lick. Okay. It can be something illegal also. Oh, some okay. people say, yo, I got to lick you in. Mm -hmm. and that I oh, sneaky lick. Yeah, lick. Lick. Okay. Like lick. Oh, okay. And, oh, I see this going around like sneak link. What, what's that? Sneak, sneaky link. Sneak disc? Sneaky link. I don't know what that shit is. <laughs> uh, sneak link. I mean, I'm not like every week in States, there's always coming up with some new shit. And sneak link is like your, your side too. Oh. <laughs> That's, that's sneaky link. That's yes. sound, it sounds stupid to me. <laughs> I see it on on like. Uh, but you know, the older generation, they be having their own words. Too, words, older, yeah. Like people that, mm -hmm. like kids that's like in high school, mm -hmm. they'll have their own slang that people older people don't use. So mm -hmm. and there's always some shit coming up. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So if a Kenyan lady is interested in a black man, like let me say black American man, or. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm not gonna get nobody my information. Y'all ah, just say yes. y'all hit me up. No, no like what's the <laughs> dating culture like? Like uh, because dating here it's so different, like from dating like there. It's more traditional here. Yeah, it's more traditional here. Like if you give someone a number, if you if I give someone, oh, okay, let me say just general. If you give if someone, give my if I give a Kenyan man my number, yeah. that means that like we are t we go together, right? <laughs> For real? <laughs> yes. Like it's so hard to get a girl's number. If you get a girl's I got number. A girl number like the other day. So that means I date her now? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's a culture. Now that, when you say culture shock? Yeah. Uh, you should rewind. <laughs> culture shock. You give a woman a number that means y'all dating. What? Yes. Ladies, am I saying that I'm saying the truth. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. 
Like how long does it take for someone to like from dating to girlfriend to uh, to I would like, say I would say at least three I would say at least three dates. Three, three four, dates. Yeah, three, four dates at least. In a span of how long? Like how many? Those dates maybe, how, how maybe maybe he dates her takes her out two two times or three times third time or fourth time she cooks for him to, to show uh-huh. her appreciation uh-huh. and to save him some money she goes and cook for him uh-huh. do something special for him to let him know that she appreciates it uh-huh. and you know uh, maybe like so I mean it could range from the talking stage to, to a month and a half two months three months the talking stage that's the talking stage <laughs> huh like how do you get to the first date. How? You yeah. ask her out. Okay. You say, hey, I would like to take you out mm-hmm. to eat. Or I would mm-hmm. like to take you out for drinks. Mm-hmm. You know? I don't think a guy should take a woman out to the club as a first date. Mm-hmm. You want to take somebody out where you can actually get to know them, not mm-hmm. loud music y'all can't talk. Mm-hmm. That's pretty easy. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <Really>. <laughs> I'm sure it's just The problem is you can just be yeah. asking people out and next thing you know, you, you know. The problem is after you do it, you get to know her. And you might, it might be something about her you don't like. Oh, so okay. that's why you want to go, you know. So this date, you said like three dates. So It could be more. I'm just giving an example. No, like the first, first, first three days. So the first date, let's say it's this weekend. The second date is like after two weeks or after no, one week. No, no, what? <laughs> Why would you, if, you, no if a guy don't hit you up in two weeks, that means he don't like you. Or a girl. If a yeah. girl takes two weeks to hit me up, I'm not talking to her. Mm-hmm. Um, so, I don't, they do that here? They wait two weeks? Nah. It you take her out. Let's say you take her out Friday, you take her out the next following weekend. Mm-hmm. Or the next the weekday. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm trying to find the questions. What advice would you give people who want to come visit the motherland? <laughs> Save your money if you can. Save your money because the problem with a lot of black Americans they're not visiting. One, I don't. I know it's the distance. Mm-hmm. Two is money. Mm-hmm. I know it because mm-hmm. I couldn't visit because of money, so I understand that part. Mm-hmm. But I would say if you can save your money mm-hmm. and at least visit the country at least one time. Put that on your bucket list to come and visit. You know, my advice would be save your kitchen passport, save your money, and then just come uh-huh. and try it. You know, but I know it could be expensive. I get it. Did I ask you this one? Why? Do on you video. Think it's shaking. Too oh much? yeah, 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 yeah. I asked you. I remember. Oh, but you are saying like the flight ticket to here it was expensive. It's not making people travel to Brazil more easier than here. But Brazil is I, cheaper than Africa. But people also go to the uh, Philippines and Thailand. Yeah, um, but not a lot. Um, I mean, mm-hmm. like, it's the people who go to the Philippines and Thailand, they're mm-hmm. retired guys, or guys that's been in the military, older men who can afford to travel. We're talking okay. about people that can't afford to travel. Okay. Like, if a guy retired guys who've been in the military, they get a check every month. Mm-hmm. They they really don't, you know, they retire, they don't work. They, they, can, they can save that check and go to the uh, Philippines. But once they get there, they're not, they're not spending that money. Everything's cheap. So. so how do you keep a black man locked in? You keep a black man what? Locked in. <laughs> you gotta have a bomb. <laughs> Guys, you so y'all that don't know what that means, look it up. <laughs> Take care of his stomach. Empty his stomach. No. Fill his stomach. Empty one oh, part and so, fill the other part. Oh, you know there's a saying in Kenya that the way to a man's heart is through the stomach. Yeah, they said that in the United States too. Maybe it came from here and went to the States. Yeah. But you empty one part of his body and you fill up the other. So after traveling, which country would you settle down to? in? Yeah. It would be either it would be either South Africa mm-hmm. or Brazil. Mm-hmm. The reason why I chose South Africa because mm-hmm. besides the load shed where they have the light problems, mm-hmm. South Africa is, has everything I need. And plus, it's it's a, a place where I can travel to other African countries. Oh, uh, connecting. East or west. I'm in the 
you know, I could go to the east side, I could go to the west side. Mm -hmm. um, so that's probably why I would choose that. For mm -hmm. me, I think it would either be one of those two. Mm -hmm. Let's do the rest of the So, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, so, any horror or uncomfortable situation experience from your travels? Um, uh, just, I actually, I, I got a video where uh -huh. <laughs> This, I guess this is not really nothing uncomfortable. I mean, it is uncomfortable. I took some THC and I thought a girl drugged me. Oh, um, yeah. And I got a video. I could check out the video. It was in Johannesburg, <laughs> South Africa. Edibles. Um, edibles. And I thought a girl drugged me. Then it was a time where I was walking. Um, my friend, when I was in per uh, Colombia, my friend told me that do not um walk he said wherever you go catch an uber catch an uber i wanted to walk because i was so close to home mm -hmm. and i walked like walking down to go home at night mm -hmm. like probably 11 12 o'clock and i think somebody almost tried to rob me mm -hmm. so that was probably the only two uncomfortable situations uh -huh. so you're giving me the exclusive right excuses what exclusive oh like, uh, exclusive yeah, yeah the recent one i thought you said i'm giving you excuses i ain't giving you no excuses i'm being real <laughs> do you spot any differences between african americans and um uh, africans actually yeah, do you like it's, being it's, called african american or black american which is me. i don't matter to me it could okay. be black or african american um yeah i don't have a problem with the african part it's true yeah. um yeah it's easy to spot the way they dress you know mm -hmm. it's you could tell a lot of times by the, the, the swag mm -hmm. and the way a person dress. Uh -huh. So how does Nigeria, South Africa, Kenya, Lesotho, Morocco compare to other, to some of the other places you've been before? Different religions, different tribes, different culture. Mm -hmm. um, Nigeria is very strong um, culture. Like, you know, they do a lot of things that, that even though it's modern age, they still do a lot of things from back in the days. You know, so uh, each culture has their own thing. Morocco is um, the, 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 the Muslim, their type of Muslim religion is women have to be covered up. Mm -hmm. A woman can't look at the man in the eye if she's married. And, mm -hmm. you know, so the, that's what when it was with uh, Morocco. And then South Africa was a little bit out of all of them. South Africa is more open. Uh, like it's they have their little culture thing, but mm -hmm. it's more open over there. Like yeah. they're not that big like you know the culture is not like they have a culture but it's not like being in east africa or west africa especially with the lgbt they're more it's legal there you know it's legal yeah in south africa it's legal yeah yeah it's legal there yeah they, yeah they do have yeah it's the only country in africa that it's legal when oh so every country in africa you can't like you can't like you could be but you can't do it in public. Like you can't do it in public, but in South Africa, Africa you, you can. can. Like it's, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Uh, for Americans, which, which city here in Africa will give a better quality value of nightlife and why? That's, I, those, that question is kind of hard for me to answer because I still have to go to other countries. Because like somebody, I could say this answer, I could say an answer and somebody uh -huh. who lives in, let's say, uh, Tanzania, T Tanzania yeah. or somebody who lives in, um, Senegal, mm. Cameroon, Ghana could say, oh no, Ghana is the better one. Blah, blah, blah. Mm. I haven't been to those places. Mm. So I can't really say, but the, the places I've been so far, I see as far as modernism, mm -hmm. I would say South Africa. Mm -hmm. um, then second would be Kenya. Mm. So as the night, you can't compare the nightlife here and South Africa. America. No. Oh, uh, yeah. It's different. It is different, but, but the different, well... What kind of music do they play? Most of the places I go to, they play hip-hop. Hip-hop. Hip-hop, Afro, beats, mm -hmm. and a piano. Mm -hmm. I'm a piano. So the only difference is back home, they don't play that much I'm a piano. They do play Afro beats a lot. Mm -hmm. but I'm a piano, you don't, you don't get it that much. Mm -hmm. It's almost the you know, same. It's yeah. almost the same. We're Except, highly, I'll say this, we're highly influenced by yeah, yeah, yeah. American, American culture. Yeah. I noticed that. Yeah. A lot of people got the swag, <laughs> like a DJ. You'll hear an MC. Well, we got, we call uh, MC and a DJ is the same for us. Yeah. You know what I mean? But over here, they got DJ and then they got an MC, a person on the mic and a person yeah. DJ. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to say the MC uh -huh. would MC like an American. Uh -huh. But then when he's off the MC and talking regular, he has the 
accent of Nigeria, <laughs> Kenya, or wherever, you know what I'm saying? Yes. And it's just kind of weird. That lets me know they're influenced by the United States because yeah. the, the accent that they're emceeing is an American accent. It's even actually they, cool to, to, Im to imitate, imitate as yeah. an MC. Yeah. Mm. All of them do it, though. Nigeria <laughs> does it. Kenya, <laughs> South Africa. Yeah. So it's your Uber experience. So far, it's been good. Mm -hmm. I haven't had any bad Uber experiences. Which African countries would you recommend to black men who've never visited Africa before that will prepare them mentally and not have a huge culture shock? That's again, that's another question where you I can't say. I can't. Well, I can say from my experience from the places I've been, but I've only been to four okay, so, countries. So tell them. Like, it might be Ghana. I don't know. When I go to Ghana next month. So, guys, you have to catch. catch checking effect. Checking the effect. For updated because it's yeah. been a, a series of yeah, Africa I'm doing a series travel. of African countries. So <laughs> I might say I might say Kenya and the next thing you know I go to Ghana, I'm like, oh no, Ghana got it. So it's tough to answer those questions, right? Yeah. Now. Which country was more hospitable to you? Kenya. Which clubs by did far. you like the most? Oh which uh, more hospitable out of uh -huh. all the, uh, African countries. Yeah, Africa. Kenya by far. Yeah. Which clubs did you like the most? Um, <laughs> in Africa. Yes. Uh, there's two. Well, I did like a club in Nigeria. It's uh -huh. called. Uh, it's one of the biggest clubs in Nigeria. Uh -huh. uh, damn, I can't remember the name of it. But it's in Lakey Island. Uh -huh. I mean, it's in um, Victoria Island. Uh huh. Did you show it in your videos? I did. So, so guys, go and it. check it. That was a good <laughs> club. Yeah. Also, a place called. Uh, Montana and South Africa was nice. So Brazil compare with being here culture wise? You ask that one. Okay. <laughs> There's a stereotype that African women are poor. They don't look very nice. There's no diversity here. Could you tell them the truth now that you are on the ground? Uh, <laughs> African women are beautiful. I think so. Um, they have, you know, it's, it's on the eye to behold it. For some people, some people might find one not beautiful than other, but it's the stereotype of what people see. Yeah. But there's a lot of beautiful women in Africa. I've seen a lot of beautiful women in South Africa. I've seen a lot of beautiful women in, in Kenya. And I've seen a lot of beautiful women in Nigeria. Mm. So that's a negative stereotype that's not true. You get the value of your money traveling here within Africa. Hell yeah. Uh huh. Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's the, the only thing that's expensive is, the, is the, the ticket. The ticket, the flight ticket. Yeah, but after that, everything is cheap. Yeah, so yeah, guys, that's all for today. Go and check, check in effect. I know you guys are going to slaughter me for saying his name so long. Check in effect. Check in effect. Check. Check. Yeah. Anything else? Nah, man. Thank you guys for watching, man. Come to Africa. No matter where you come, just come to Africa. Okay. No matter where it's at. Tell them to subscribe. I'm heading to 50k. <laughs> Why are you laughing when I say this? Oh, this is good. <laughs> because of that time. <laughs> Guys, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> yes, bye. <laughs> Every time a nigga link up, she always ready to cash out. Yeah, don't fuck with no gold digger. Bitch, I am no bubs, go fuck with them old niggas. Some of these rappers is bold, don't let me expose niggas. My bed never fold, always stay down, always ten toes. That's word of my folks, nigga, I'm rolling.